This video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do a quiz. And what I mean by we, I mean you. This quiz is going to be on HTTP status codes. And we're going to kick off nice and easy and slow. And we're going to then slowly ramp up to more difficult questions. Quizzes are a great way to learn and have fun at the same time. Let's give an example of what this video is going to entail. Question one, what does the class of 200 status code range mean? A, does it mean informational? B, does it mean client errors? C, does it mean server errors? And D, does it mean success? Let me give you a few moments to think about it. The answer is D, success. This class of status codes indicates the action requested by the client was received, understood and accepted. Let me know your answers in the comment below. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for extra bonus points. Let's jump straight into question two. Continuing with keeping it easy and fairly straightforward, staying in the 200 range, what does the 200 status code mean? Does it mean bad request, okay, accepted, or no content. The answer is B, okay, which is used the most. It is a status code that is probably overused. Where it should be used is when a GET request has asked for a list of resources or even a single resources. This is the status code that should be used. As I said, in my opinion, I think the status code is overused and other status codes which are more specific should be used for other scenarios. Okay, we're halfway through. Let's get down to question three. Let's step it up a bit though. What do you think the status code 304 means? Not modified, permanently moved, bad request, internal server error. The answer is A, not modified. This indicates that the resource has not been modified since the version specified in the request headers. There is no need to retransmit the resource since the client still has the data already. Question four, you're probably already familiar with the 400 bad request status code. The server won't process the request because there's badly sent data. But what about the status code in the same range, but 405 status code? Does it mean unauthorized? Permanently redirected, request timed out, or method not allowed. The answer is D, method not allowed. A request method is not supported. And what that means is if you have an endpoint that is read only and a get request can be made to it, that makes sense. But if someone tries to send a put request to update the resource and it's read only, then it's a 405 and it's rejected. Okay, last question. Let's make this one a bit more fun and a bit more trickier. So status code 418, it's 418. What do you think this means? Well, you know it's in the 400 range, so you should have an idea of what it means. But do you? This is a bit of a special case. So let me throw you some curveballs. Does it mean I'm a teapot? Yes, a teapot for coffee. Or does it mean unsupported media type? Or internal server error? Or page expired? Maybe I'll give you a few extra seconds on this one. No Googling, I'm watching you, don't cheat. The answer is A, I'm a teapot. Yes, you might think that's kind of stupid and silly, but this code was defined in 1998 as one of the traditional April Fool's jokes. 
and was not expected to be implemented as an actual HTTP server status code. The RFC specifies this code should be returned by teapots requested to brew coffee. This HTTP status code is used in an Easter egg in a lot of websites. Maybe give it a try and see if it responds. Shall we use this in the EddieHub API? What score did you get? Let me know the answer to both of those in the comments below. I hope you had as much fun as I did in this video. What other quizzes would you like to see? Was this a good video? Was this a good idea? I hope to see you in the EddieHub Discord so we can geek out between live streams and video. I'll see you there.